Uh, we have uh, with us um, the, min the Minister of State for Higher Education of Ireland. Thank you to be, to be here, and uh, I'm sorry for, for this delay. In fact, our minister, Professor Manuel Eitor, he had uh, a meeting during all the morning in Lisbon with the main council of our government, and um, uh, he uh, are coming now, but um, of course we will start the, the, the session, the ceremony, and um, um, I want to uh, once again to thanks to all the people that are here with, with us, as well all the people that are following, following us online in Portugal and in Ireland particularly. And um, in fact, um, this is um, a very, very important moment for the Polytechnic of Lydia for several uh, reasons. But uh, one of the most important thing is the idea that we are um, construct a very, very strong network in Europe, and we have inside this network two very strong higher edu education institutions in Ireland that we start to work, to work in a couple of years ago, and now we have an important uh, mark for our commitment to the science, the knowledge for, for Europe, and of course, for the higher education system. So thank you for this confidence. And um, in a formal and a symbolic way, we will start, we will start the, 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 the session, um, which all of the, the persons could, could, could follow in, uh, in the stream uh, link. We will start by, in a symbolic but in a formal way, um, to sign the, the agreement for the joint PhD programs, and I will start to sign. After that, I will ask to the, the Professor Kieran, the president of uh, uh, Athlon Institute of Technology, uh, Technology, also to sign. And after that, uh, the, professor, the, professor, the Professor Vincent, the president of LIT, uh, both uh, friends of the Polytechnic of Leiria and uh, friends of mine. So I will start uh, um, the, the signing the, the, the memorandum of, of, of understanding. <coughs> so my copy is uh, signing now, and I ask to uh, <coughs> Professor Kieran, please, you could sign your copy that you have in, in Hatlan. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, Professor Vincent, you could sign, please, the Memorandum of Understanding in uh, Limerick, please. My pleasure. Really, thank you. All done. Okay, thank you very much. I, I don't know if it is a problem for, for a, a presential and a online session, but I think that we, uh, we, we, we could applaud. <laughs> and uh, I, I will say some, some words about the, the, this, uh, the importance of this uh, um, agreement. Um, so once again, um, good afternoon to everyone. Um, dear uh, Minister of Science, Technology and Higher Education, Professor Manuel Eitor, because he, 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 ha he has a huge commitment with his uh, agreement, with his uh, European strategy, with uh, our strategy to put together students, teachers and professors. Dear Minister of State for Higher Education, 
Mary Mitchell O'Connor. It's, it's an honor to have you here. Uh, dear President of LIT and uh, AIT, Professor Vincent and uh, Professor Kieran. Dear v Vice Presidents, Pro Presidents, Deans, Teachers, Researchers, uh, all the technical staff that uh, also are here and follow this session um, online, students and all the guests that uh, follow this session here in the, uh, our main library, the library of José Saramago, um, NHL in Netherlands, Hamk in Finland, the Chesney Istvan in Hungary, as well the Vorarlberg University of Applied Science in Austria. Thank you very much for your presence here and in the online streaming session. Thank you very much. And I, I, will, pass, I will pass the word to uh, Professor Kieran, the president of uh, the Athlon Institute of Technology. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, Rui, and uh, indeed, thank you to all of your colleagues and our friends uh, in Europe and across Europe who are following this uh, MOU today. Indeed, for Athlone, it's a very memorable occasion for us to be uh, signing the MOU today with our partners here at AIT. And as you are aware, our AIT and LIT uh, hope to become one of the next technological universities in Ireland over the next uh, 18 months. So for the intake of students in 2021, uh, it should be coming into the new technological, or the newest technological university uh, in the state. However, notwithstanding that, we both have a depth of history and knowledge uh, in terms of working in our regions. And certainly when we uh, were approached around the regional university network, we saw this as a real critical part of crystallizing what we have done in Ireland for over 50 years in terms of working and developing the regions that we serve, both in terms of education, but more importantly, too, in economic development. And we see the signing of this MOU today <coughs> as an extension of this and as an extension of our friendship, particularly with Lier and with Rui and your team there. Uh, we've worked very hard to get this. And uh, we're very pleased that we will be able to offer 10 uh, students to come for PhD this year in the disciplines, as you uh, said earlier. And I think it will be great for the network, but I think it also adds to our internationalization uh, here in Ireland. Currently on the AIT campus, we actually have 84 nationalities, and we have a few uh, Portuguese and a number of Brazilians uh, as well who speak very good Portuguese. So I think any students coming to Ireland, whether it's to Athlone or to Limerick, I think they get a very warm welcome and certainly um, will be able to speak, to speak in their native tongue many a time uh, during their time in Ireland as they study. But I think the critically important piece of this is around to the joint supervision between the two universities. And I think this is a critical piece uh, in terms of where we want to take uh, the university network, but where we also uh, in Ireland, where we want to take our new technological university. We want it to be disruptive, we want it to be agile, and we want to be able to reflect very significantly the regional impact that we can make here in Ireland and abroad. So for me, I want to uh, congratulate you, Rui, on uh, getting it signed and over the line. We're delighted to be here today. And I also want to thank uh, sincerely Minister Mary Mitchell O'Connor for taking the time out of her very busy diary to be with us this afternoon. Uh, and I'm looking forward to hearing what she has to say. So, Gurumila Margoth, August Longafol. Thank you very much for your words and uh, for your speech and for the, the vision for the internationalization and for this network and for the co commitment that we have. So, Professor Vincent, uh, the, 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 you could please uh, give us your speech and your, um, your, your ideas about this agreement. Uh, thank you very much, Rui, and uh, uh, ministers, uh, Mary, Minister Mary Mitchell Connor and uh, Minister uh, Hector, we are, uh, on behalf of LIT, we're absolutely delighted to be part of this uh, very innovative uh, program that's been launched today uh, with the MOU signing. Um, and 
Ruby, I think you've outlined a very uh, ambitious uh, plan for this uh, MOU, and uh, my good friend and colleague as well, in that loan, has uh, outlined why why we consider it so important that we uh, are involved here today. Uh, I think it's uh, not only in a post-COVID sort of situation that internationalisation comes to the fore, but we have to remember that from uh, a European dimension, this is a post-Brexit relationship as well. And one of the first uh, post-Brexit type of relationships where uh, the peripheral countries of Europe, I think, such as Portugal and Ireland, need to be very much working together. Uh, and uh, we're seeing that through the RUN network. It's very much regionally orientated uh, and, uh, and it's about uh, institutions in parts of our countries uh, that are outside of the main capital cities. They experience different types of, uh, uh, of needs and I think it's hugely important that we are working together collaboratively in a, in a European dimension in a post-Brexit uh, and indeed in the current COVID situations. Uh, as I say, we're delighted to be involved in this and uh, we have enjoyed greatly the evolution of our relationship over the last number of years, as Rui has pointed out, in the RUN network. Uh, and uh, Kiran and myself um, uh, see this as a hugely important uh, and these students will graduate from Ireland's uh, newest technological university. And uh, I think that's hugely important. The impacts that we continue to make in our regions will be felt and deepened uh, by virtue of that change, but also by virtue of the internationalisation. And as Kieran says, we already have a very international dimension to both our staff and our student population. So it's with great, uh, it's uh, aware of the uh, impact of this. I'm delighted to say that. And, and on behalf of uh, Kieran and myself, I, uh, I think we'd like to thank our own teams. Uh, uh, and that's Lowen, uh, Niall Seary and Sean Lyons and, uh, and Limerick with uh, Liam Brown and, and Paddy Murray. But also, of course, we've worked very closely with uh, Nuno Rodriguez there in, uh, in, uh, in Illyria. Uh, and they, as much as anybody else, deserve uh, our thanks for bringing us to this point today as well. So on behalf of a, a very grateful and appreciative uh, Limerick, uh, uh, I thank you very much for this opportunity. And we will look forward to working with you very closely as partners and colleagues over the next number of years. Thank you, thank you, Vincent. In fact, the the the, the work that uh, the Polytechnic of the E and uh, LIT uh, um, have starts more than ten years ago, uh, and uh, we have a, a huge, uh, strong. Uh, commitment. Um, so, in fact, our minister uh, are, are coming, but in, unfortunately, he, he will have no time to, 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 to arrive. And I try to have the opportunity that the minister could enter in, uh, in online, by, but, but I, I really don't know if it will be possible. I, 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 I send the the, the link to, to our to our minister to try to do that, but um, in the meantime, I, I really um, I'm sorry for that. But I want you, uh, of course, to pass the the word to the minister of state of higher education, uh, Mary Mitchell O'Connor. Thank you very much for your presence here in this session. It's very very important for us as a higher education institution is very important for Europe and for idea of construct uh, um, uh, uh, a coll collective European idea supported by knowledge and uh, science. So um, the, the word is, is yours and thank you for your presence here. Thank you very much, President Rory, and I'm delighted and honoured indeed to be invited to the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding. And I have done some research on your college and I think you're a fantastic fit actually with our own two great colleges and that is at Lowell Institute of Technology and Limerick Institute of Technology. And uh, welcome presidents and President Vincent, I'm going to call you that anymore, and President. <laughs> 
Kieran. Lovely to see you here uh, on this very, very exciting day. Um, and I also wanted to pay tribute just to my own colleges for a moment. They are two very progressive and innovative colleges. And, you know, I think that there really will be an outstanding technological university when they uh, come into being in the next, I'm even hoping, the next 12 to 15 months. But certainly the Department of Education and the Irish government, you know, are fully supportive of this, of this amalgamation, of this joint venture uh, to technological university status of AIT and of LIT. And I think what today really ties in to our whole uh, our agenda, our government agenda and our national agenda and also our international agenda. And that is that science and technology and knowledge, you know, becomes global and that it is part of our international strategy. So the mission even, uh, you know, for our technological universities is one to develop skills, to develop the economic, the cultural, the social uh, aspects of our country and to ensure sustainable development. And I know that this really ties in now with exactly what you're doing and, um, you know, um, what we're, we're celebrating today. Just on, on the point of um, the run, uh, I just want the Regional University Network, I want to wish you the very best. I know it's very important to our Irish institutes and both uh, President Kieran and President Vincent have uh, briefed me in depth about what, you know, what your agenda and what the, your vision is. So obviously, you know, as the minister in charge of higher education, I fully support our two colleges and I wish them the very best. But anyway, going back to what's happening today, to our deans, to all our teachers, our lecturers, our technical staff, and of course, very importantly, the students, I want to wish you the very best. And I know that this is just really probably, even though you've been 10 years, uh, you know, uh, collaborating, but I think today now is a step in the right direction. Uh, and I wish you the very best. Thank you very much. So, uh, so thank you very much for for your words to, for support this uh, uh, joint PhD progress. But more than that, to support our vision, our strategy related with the regional university network. Because yes, it's uh, uh, very very important, of course, for all the universities that are engaging engaged on in this strategy to put the science, the knowledge, to the service of the society and for to prepare the skills of uh, the, 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 the skills of the future. Uh, so I, I will try to do something that is uh, that I have no net for that, but I'll try to call to to our minister and try to put our minister speak um, from the phone to all the people that are here uh, in the Zesaramago library, but are also are following us online in Portugal and uh, Ireland. So if you uh, um, allow me, dear minister, I will try to speak with our minister to, to have uh, some words for this session.
Dear, dear minister, uh, so we, we have here uh, the minister of uh, higher education, the state of higher education, um, of state and higher education from Ireland. We have here the president, Professor Vincent from Limerick Institute of Technology. We have the president, um, Professor Kieran from the Athlon Institute of Technology, of Technology, Rory, that also support a lot us is also here. We have the mayor of the city of Leiria. We have the president of the, the Entrepreneur Association here and the uh, vice presidents, pro presidents, deans of the Polytechnic of Leiria in our library. And the session uh, are followed by in Portugal and in Ireland in streaming. So the word is yours and thank you for, for this opportunity. Let me also send my compliment to um, uh, th those in Ireland and to the minister in particular. Um, and with you, I will like to pass my compliments to all of you. Again, this program is a key step um, within the so-called European networks of higher education. And therefore, we are particularly pleased that the Polytechnic of Leiria joined and promotes this um, these venture. We know that more and more we need to look at um, European sovereignty also as the global response to COVID has shown us that more than, more than ever we need to better understand um, the new industrial um, supply chains uh, to help building um, a cohesive and stronger Europe. If that was a very important issue a few months ago, now is even more and more important. So again, I believe that building up professional skills and specialized professional skills at different levels with a quite diversified set of skills are really critical for Europe at large to build the necessary strength in, in, in industrial production and with this to, to bring um, European sover sovereignty at a level which can decrease the dependence from third countries. Uh, certainly, we knew this many years, but the COVID-related crisis has shown us in a very, in a very pragmatic and clear way the, the, uh, the, the, um, the how far we depend from from external parts in terms of health, but also in all the other industrial basic issues. From pharma industry, we know that 80% of raw materials came from outside Europe, particularly from China and India, but also all the basic supplies from protection equipment to basic um, um, electronic systems. We are so much dependent that uh, the COVID-related um, uh, crisis has also shown the way we can um, guarantee in the years to come the building up of new um, industrial supply chains within Europe and to decrease the excess up to which um, the supply chains have been provided. And this, above all, is about skills. Skills is about people, is about people, is about people, and uh, the building up of skills in a number of areas where in Europe we, do, we didn't have um, enough um, um, uh, industrial activity, but also in creating employment. All our um, societies face a double ch challenge because of the fast rate of unemployment which has been associated with the slowdown of the economic activity over COVID, but also with the, need, with the need to open up new value chains and to find um, opportunities. So again, I believe this program is very timely. The Polytechnic of Leiria is very well positioned in an industrial landscape which uh, has a major relevance 
for what we speak about the economic return um, um, after and in the post-COVID, and we are definitely very much interested in building up European networks more than ever in the post-COVID situation. So again, I thank you. I believe the, the collaboration with our Irish colleagues, among others in Europe, is very critical, and I strongly emphasize the need to look at uh, the building up of skills at different levels, from um, initial training to specialized advanced training. We need a sophisticated labor force in order to, to do it in a, at an European level. So please uh, take uh, in a serious way all our institutional and political support to this initiative. And I thank you again for uh, the building up of this European network. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, dear Minister, uh, for your words and to support this, uh, this initiative. And uh, in uh, uh, this non-typical way to finish a session, uh, we will close this se session. I once again want to thank you, the President of all here, and uh, that are here and that are following us in uh, streaming. Thank you, uh, dear Minister from the, 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 the State and Higher Education uh, fr from Ireland. Thank you, Vincent. Thank you, uh, Kieran. Thank you, uh, Professor Manuel Leitor, dear Minister. Thank you, Rory. Thank you all. And we, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, we are starting to construct a, a huge, huge, a project, a huge and important regional university network inside Europe. Thank you very much, all, and we will close the session now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. Thank you.